Right, we're going to have a little go at using this fire striker, which also incorporates a little depression in the middle, a little low friction surface to use as a bearing block. So this gives us two different methods we could use uh, to light fire with this one tool. So first of all, we're going to have a go at creating some sparks and dropping them onto a bit of char cloth, and then we'll have a go with a bow drill set. Oh, well there we go, that didn't take very long. So, so we can see, we can strike on the edge, make nice hot showers of sparks. Let's see if it's uh, as easy with the bow drill. Okay, so now we're going to have a go with the striker using it as a bearing block. So in the middle we've got, as we can see, this shiny smooth depression and that sits on top of your um, drill spindle like that and it should be a lower friction surface um, than using a traditional bearing block out of wood. So let's see how we get on. That's an awful amount of noise. That wasn't from the bearing block, that's from the wood down here at the bottom. There's our ember. So I've just got to be careful it doesn't get blown flat. And let the breeze oxygenate it. We've got to wait for a little red glow. So just encourage that. So that definitely was more uh, low friction than using a bearing block made of wood. If we have a look at the top of the drill while we wait for that to glow, we can see it's still similar dimensions. So as well as it being easier to spin, you're actually going to save time constantly resharpening the top of the drill. You can see that's really polished. And there's our nice little orange glow. So one tool for two possible methods of lightning fire.